So gut sensitivity, gut inflammation is something which we are hearing very often and you know people are popping in antacids or uh, sorry, bloating feel hoti hai ya indigestion feel hoti hai, acid reflux hota hai, kisi ko jalan hoti hai, some people are just throwing up. So this is something which we or irritable bowel bhi ho sakte hai, too much of constipation or there is uh, diarrhea, frequent uh, motion after meal. So many people are completely lost so i'll tell you what i do with most of my patients when they come to me and we figure out that they have gut inflammation or their gut is very sensitive the muscles of gut are very weak so what i do and what i have seen that how it's helping people uh, when we are just doing some small changes so first of all to hum log unka raw vegetables ban kar dete so if you have gut sensitivity raw vegetables ko completely avoid karo so if you're doing raw salads or raw sprouts usko completely ban karke get into cooked vegetables or cook whatever you're eating cook it well and then eat it you'll see that you know the digestion is much better now two what i have also seen is that all those people who've been eating lot of brown rice lot of oats agar hum unko shift kar dete hain white rice mein they say uh, they show us a good response and the food gets digested well now three is whenever they are uh, eating dals we tell them to specifically soak it at least 8 to 10 hours and agar usme ginger ya thoda hing ya ac bhi dal dete hain it gives us much much better result also i've seen including a magnesium in their diet you know we uh, include a magnesium supplement in the night and it uh, they show wonder in terms of uh, digestion and bloating they they just start feeling so much lighter and so much better another tip which i ask most of my patients to do is don't have too much dry khana like sukha roti sabzi or uh, you're just doing dry makhana, dry roasted grams. Uh, they are healthy but uh, include something liquid along with it like a thin dal or put a spoonful of uh, ghee on your chapati or on that sabzi or have uh, a thin soup along with it or have a vegetable juice along with the snacks like dry makhana. So that helps in better digestion. Khali dry khana jo hai, wo thoda sa difficult hota hai body ke liye digest karna for people who have gut inflammation already. Another thing what I have seen is intermittent fasting agar bohat zyada deir kar rahe ho. So a lot of people are doing intermittent fasting. 10, 11, 12 hours, okay, that's normal to do. But if you're doing more than that and especially if you have gut sensitivity, it can aggravate your problem than really relieving uh, the gut inflammation. So these are the few now things what I follow with my patients and I see that they really show us good results and their uh, inflammation starts getting lesser. Along with that, of course, we have to do many other things. I mean, anti-inflammatory diet, pe dalna padta hai. we just have to see what else are their symptoms. But these are the general rules if you follow, if you have uh, that inflammation, bloating, acid reflux, if it, these are general rules, you follow this and you'll see a good change in your digestion you'll feel the stomach acid is you know getting released better and you're able to digest food better you're able to digest your protein much better way and you'll see less of that discomfort and acid reflux